tents here. Um, anybody know who Frank Chimizo is? I hope some people. I do. Okay. He's a guy from Cuba that defected from Cuba. He wrestles for Italy now, and he's above average. All right, beating Jordan Burroughs, um, beating a lot of really good guys. Did he beat Sinkoff last year at a tournament? I know he didn't beat him at Worlds. I think he's right. beat him at the Euro. So now, this is something that he is amazing at. Now, for the record, he is part alien, okay? <laughs> If you're part alien, then good. You'll be better at this than most people. All right, anytime this guy shoots a high crotch, whether I'm on my feet, sprawling, or in a crackdown, this is the most important thing. His shoulder in the pocket, okay? That's what keeps his hips in back straight head up. That's what controls my hips. That's what helps him take me down, okay? So my far hand's gonna hook his armpit, and we're just gonna kinda stay tight with his shoulder right now, okay? I want you to feel this position. All we're gonna do is take a side step, and my opposite hand is gonna pop his shoulder, and then I'm gonna dig my elbow into his armpit. That's all we're gonna do. This is gonna be a real quick drill. So I'm gonna pop the shoulder, sidestep, dig into his armpit. And then I'm gonna shift my weight into him. Does everybody see I'm driving off my outside foot? So he's gonna be hips in back, straight head up, good high crotch position, okay? I can't sprawl, again, we're scrambling because I can't sprawl. If I could do this and break his grip and go behind him, we wouldn't need this camp. Right, and according to some people on the internet, scrambling can't be taught from what I heard this past week. All right, pop the shoulder, dig the elbow, drop my butt. Step, pop, dig and drop, and then I'm driving into him. Stop right here, okay? This guy should not be a scrub and stay up just like Jack's doing, okay? So I'm nice and tight on the hip, pop, dig, drive. I don't wanna be too specific with how we finish, but here's the deal. Do I wanna pick up the heaviest leg or the lightest leg? Lightest leg, all day long. That's why we drive with our head and our drag leg, so we can make that leg light, right? That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to drive with his left foot and his head, so as my leg gets light. I'm basically just changing it up on him. Flipping the script on him here. I'm popping, you guys aren't using this hand. This hand's super important. Some of you guys are just doing that. Okay, I'm not gonna beat this shoulder unless I step and pop, and it's like my hips are doing a circle, okay? It's like my hips are doing a circle here. Okay, so I'm gonna pop, circle my hips and dig. Now as I drive into them, this hand's gonna come inside like a switch and I'm just gonna pick the leg up, okay? I'm gonna pick the leg up and wrestle through this guy. Don't overthink it, don't try to be too specific, all right, I want this guy to give me a good feel and I don't wanna just fall over, all right? But more than likely, I'm gonna drive him up to his feet. So I'm basically gonna re-high crotch him. So I'm gonna pop, dig, and I'm gonna drive in right here. I like my chances right here. He can start diving under me and all kind of stuff. Don't get greedy and go for a cradle right here. You can post on the shoulder, post on the head, or just change off to a double leg. I don't care, okay? Just get him to the mat. We'll start talking about hiding our ankles and all that stuff. He's got options there, okay? But if we're aware of him, we should be in good shape. Pop the shoulder, dig the elbow, change direction, drive in. Here, come right back into him. I like my options right here. Notice I'm elbow deep. I'm not here standing straight up, unathletic. I don't have one hand on his leg. I'm right back into a good position. I want to get back into a fundamental high crotch or double as quick as I can. Pop dig, drive, elbow deep. I like my options right here, okay? I'm pretty good position, he's not. 